Hey, you must call me Rob Army, all 67 of you. Hey, wanted to do a quick video on these IKEA Alex drawers. Uh, I know they're pretty popular with a lot of the builds and uh, battle stations. And in my case, um, something had fallen behind my drawer, so I need to get it out so it can uh, finally close. This is also super helpful if you need to remove, um, you know, the drawers from moving the cabinets or whatever. So let's get started. So. In my case, as you can see, the drawers are not fully closing. So something's likely behind there. So this is actually a pretty easy uh, fix. And it's only going to take a standard uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So as you can see, um, about 10 or so inches into the drawer, there's uh, two of these Phillips head screws. So all we need to do is pretty much remove these screws that essentially hold the rails in place. And once we get these screws out, the drawer will be able to slide out and the rails will remain uh, stuck to the cabinet. So. And I wish I knew this last week uh, when I was replacing the floors here um, because I moved this whole thing and didn't feel like taking out all this stuff out of the cabinets. Cool, all right, so there's the second screw. All right, so now pretty much all I have to do, pull the drawer out and the slides, as you'll see, will stay in place. So let's take a look and see what's in here. Oh, there it is, in my case, looks like a coil of ethernet cable fell back. So now to get the drawer back in, what we want to do is pretty much reverse everything, put the slides uh, back into the cabinet. And for an easy tip, all you want to do is make sure that the slides go all the way up against the front facing of the cat or the front face of the cabinet so that the holes line up for the screws to be put back in. So put this first one in on the left side. Good. And then the second screw. All right, so both screws are in and the drawer should close. There it is. Like, subscribe, comment for more content. Thanks.